Hello and welcome to the Pup Mommy. This is a channel where I share my practical hands-on experience with what I've learned, including my mistakes, of owning, loving, and caring for dogs for over 30 years. And by the way, I also happen to offer a service for people who are first-time dog owners, wannabe dog owners, or even people who want to add a second or a third dog to their family. And that service is helping you find the right dog to fit your lifestyle and your personality. Because then you create that unbreakable bond that nothing can come between the two of you for the rest of your lives. And also, it helps keep dogs out of shelters. If you'd like more information, I'll leave a link to my website so you can easily click on that and find more information. Now, in today's video, the topic I'm going to cover is seizures. And I know that there are a number of videos that are out there from veterinarians, but the difference with my video and seizures is because I've actually lived through them with my dogs. I've had two dogs that have had seizures and unfortunately um, they did not survive. So if you take anything away from this video at the moment, it is if your dog seizures, take it to the vet immediately. Now, my two dogs who seizured, um, the first time that it happened to me was shortly after my mother passed away. And I was upstairs on the second floor and I heard this scratching. And it was odd because I had at the time two Boston Terriers and I thought, oh, what are they getting into now? And it just kept going on and on. And I thought, well, this is really odd. So I ran downstairs and what was I faced with in the kitchen was my Boston Terrier on her right side, right near the crate. And she was just uncontrollably seizuring. I recognized it as a seizure, but what I didn't recognize at the time was the severity of the seizure. Now, with some dogs, the seizures may be over very quickly. Other times, the seizure is, it goes on for a length of time. Now, if you're witnessing your dog having a seizure, if you have the presence of mind, which of course I didn't, because I was crying and I was falling apart, but if you have the presence of mind, get your phone immediately and try and video record the seizure. Note the date, note the length of time that the seizure is going on. This, of course, will help the vet determine the type of seizure that, it, that your dog was experiencing. The other thing that I want to you know, impress upon you, and I mentioned earlier on, is that if your dog has a seizure, do not wait to see if it's going to have another seizure. Um, take your dog to the vet immediately. Call them, let them know what happened, get an appointment as soon as you can. The reason for this is a number of, a number of things. First of all, the, what are the causes of seizures? Can be a, it could be uh, the fact that your dog, there is something wrong. It could be a liver kidney issue or other organ issue. It could be epilepsy, which is probably the most, no, the, how shall I say, the most common reason for the seizure. Or it could be something more serious. It could be poison. It could be uh, something that, you know, could like the, the dog had a head injury. Or it could be something like what my dogs had. When I took Poco to the vet, she um, and the vet heard about the length of the seizure and the time she got me an appointment that same day with a neurologist. The neurologist did additional blood work, did an MRI, and Poco was found to have inflammatory brain disease known as meningoencephalitis. And that happens to have a 75% fatality rate. My other Boston Terrier also suffered cluster seizures and he had a brain glioma, which is brain cancer. The doctor said he has six weeks maybe. And unfortunately he passed in my arms in two weeks. So that's why it is so incredibly important that if your dog has a seizure, you do not wait it out. You take your dog to the vet immediately. Now, if your dog happens to have epilepsy, there are different kinds of epilepsy. Um, sometimes the most, not, I wanna say the most common is your dog may be unfortunately have idiopathic epilepsy, which means that after all the tests and everything that could possibly be done to try and figure out what is the cause, the epilepsy is there because it's just there. It sometimes can even be a genetic disorder that leads to that. If your dog has epilepsy or 
uh, if your dog has that problem, uh, or has seizure problem, I should say, instead, you know, you, the vet may recommend that you put your dog on anticonvulsant drugs. Could be Levetiracetam, or which is commonly known as Keppra, or Phenobarbital. Um, my dog, Poco, was put on Phenobarbital, among other drugs, because of her diagnosis. But uh, once you put your dog on an anticonvulsant drug, chances are your dog is probably going to have to remain on that drug for the rest of its life. But you need to check with your vet about that first. Because sometimes after your dog has remained seizure free for a length of time, you might want to think, well, maybe we can take the dog off the drug. Well, you have to think about that very carefully along with consultation with your vet. Because when you start taking your dog off particular drugs, the problem may be that the seizures start coming back and they could possibly even be more severe. So again, um, with this particular video, I wanted to impress upon you that, again, if your dog is suffering a seizure, or has had a seizure, don't wait it out. Take your dog immediately to a vet and discover what the cause is because you basically could save your dog's life. And if it's something like what my dog's had, then you have some tough decisions to make. Um, I have a couple of other videos where I discuss um, euthanasia and the mistakes I made in waiting too long and trying anything and everything to keep my dogs alive. And it, it, it may soothe and comfort you, but it's not basically going to be helping your dog any. But with that, that's another video. I urge you to check that one out if you need to. But thank you very much for your attention. I hope this video was somewhat informative. Um, it's, seizures are absolutely terribly scary, but be, be re, also realize that when your dog is having a seizure, your dog is not in pain. Your dog doesn't really know what is happening, but you certainly do. Um, so with that, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to click and subscribe, and bye for now.